Hello and welcome back to Wild Frost. Halloween's a day early. I want to play Zombie Frost today. So that's what we're doing. That's the plan. Let's uh, give it a spin, shall we? Yeah. Uh, I've been thinking, I've, I've seen multiple people talking about asking me, or not saying, say, not asking, but saying it'd be cool to see me play Rain World. So I might actually do something like that. I'll think about it. No guarantees. Uh, it's not like I got a lot going on, but you know. Three videos a day, four videos a day. I've been I've been doing two videos a day and two streams on a few of the days. So, you know, it's a lot, but it's not really a lot is how I think about it. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? Uh, we have... Let me make sure the mod is on, right? Is there anything in here? Yeah, okay. Sweet. Uh, let's play Snowballers today. I think we played the other one recently. Did we? I don't remember, actually. Oh, well. Too late now. I'm locked in. I'm lock horn. Hmm. No. Although this is actually pretty good. 744 with heal 2 on all allies. Yeah, sure. Why not? And we got Zombie, Swarm 2, Invasion, Simple Minded. So if you don't know about this mod, by the way, this is the first time I'm covering this. This is by the same person who made the Plants vs. Zombies mod, the Plants version. So now this is the Zombies version for Halloween, which is exciting. Floats too high to be hit, 644. Oh, look at this little angry balloon, too. Swarm 2, Invasion, Simple Minded. Joins you in battle even while in your reserve. Ooh, what the hell? Deals additional damage to damaged targets, sure. Only hits enemies in the same row. Dude, what? I'm down for this. So, what, do they just pop out? Or maybe you draw them? I guess we'll see. I'm gonna put this guy in the reserve and we're gonna see what this is. Joins you in battle even when in your reserve. Let's see it. Be kind of badass if he just popped up. Okay, he just always is in the deck. Interesting. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's cool. Not something that's in the game otherwise. Now you know me, I love new things. That's what they always say about me. There goes that guy, he loves new things. That's, uh, that's him. Oh, sweet flip. I love doing flips, too. Makes the game so much cooler when I'm flipping. So this guy basically, the swarm effect is already in the game on certain leaders. So this isn't like anything groundbreaking, but I wonder, like, I guess he is a three on the three. Oh my God, he bites. It's a, uh, it's horrifying. Imagine the winter worm turned into a zombie here. Now that would be badass. They have woodhead still, right? Yeah, okay. I just haven't seen him yet. I should probably consider the fact that this winter worm is about to kick the shit out of me and kill him. Seems reasonable. I'm just thinking I want to maximize my income here, but it's actually kind of hard. I could just let the zombie die. That's not out of the question. <laughs> Chomp. I wanted to hit the goblin more. I can hit it one more time if I want to super maximize. I think I will. I was going to hit it with a snow stick, but obviously that's not very good. We're not going to be doing any dying to um, that, basically. It feels incorrect to lose, so I think I will win. I wonder if the invasion changes where they draw, because I think he was on the bottom of the deck. Maybe it always puts him on the bottom. I go bottom pass. We got new zombies to see here. It's important. I'm ready to see Conehead Zombie, my favorite character. Sprinter Zombie. Booty! Oh my god. They really got every zombie in this game. What the hell? What a horror. And... Ah, uh, you know, sometimes it's like this, I guess. Maybe... I, I almost feel like I should reset, but we can just take supporting stuff and then hope for the best, you know? Don't worry, zombie. You're gonna do great. I'm oh, sorry. I don't know why I'm looking there. I'm looking here. He's in there. Let's see if he's at the bottom of the deck again. He might be, but I don't know. Regardless of what happens here, Pootie is strong since I like strong at this phase of the game. I don't like this unit typically, but in this case, Pootie is good. Because I just need damage, and that's damage. And the healing is fine as well. Flip. Flip. Also, the flip's quite good. 
I tied the shrewels. Okay, so he's not at the very bottom of the deck. That's good to note. Brains. Whoa. Brains. What do you think he wants? I got no ideas. Take the multi-kill here. I don't think the Shrewdles has a brain. Where would they put it? I'm not calling them stupid, I'm just asking questions. <laughs> where would where would you put a brain on that thing? Room Gobbler, I mean maybe. Veiled Lady has a head. Bulb head, I mean I guess. It's plausible. Gobbling definitely has a brain, no doubt. That's prime eaten material right there. Big brain too, because he's running away. I don't know about uh I don't know about some of these guys though. They might just be creatures of instinct. Uh, brains. Chomp. That's the sound effects are quite good. I like them a lot. Go get him, Woodhead. Does Woodhead have a brain? I hope not. I think I need to actually work on getting out of here. I was gonna go for the double kill here, but I actually think I might want to do a little escape plan. Brains. Dude, they're still yapping. He's still saying brains. He's so hungry. Starving. Uh, however you want to go about this, I suppose. I think I'll do here for the double kill. Either way, it's a double kill. And yet, he's still gonna be hungry. Still no brains. Yeah, the good news here is we get to pick up two more units, right? Maybe even a zombie. Berry juice is fine with me. I'm going units, by the way. No, no doubt. Gargantoir. Summon an imp with an 8 HP loss. Form 1, 1 damage, 2 frenzy. Oh, that's pretty good. This guy's just, uh... He's actually, you know, I expected him to be a little bit stronger. Before attacking Vault Over Ally Ahead to gain plus 2 attack? Now that's pretty sick. I don't know if it's any good, but like, come on. I gotta, I gotta play uh, Big Chungus here, though. Surely. The imp is actually the good part of that unit. Nova, what kind of zombie is that? All right, come on, little berry. Maybe we'll get a little berry run. Remember, the zombie here is invasion. Blaze T, sure. This guy is ten on a nine, ten times two on a nine timer. It's not bad. And simple-minded only hits enemies in the same row. I feel like he needs something a little more, but I guess I have booty for him, actually. Give me one charm. Tell me something exciting. Excite thrilling. Absolutely thrilling. Where's this crown going? Oh, man. I feel like I might want to swap out, like, Roybos for a little berry. And then just crown booty. Should be fine. We can just let booty die to whatever. How much do I really care about booty? Not a lot. Just get frenzy on my hero or something. There he is. Brains. Although it's quite a long time to actually let booty die. Maybe I sword sword. I think so. And then the zombie is just going to die, but he's kind of just fodder at this point. And a little max HP for our hero. He can just die, I don't really care. I could have given him the pink fairy juice to let him live, but I don't know if it seems all that good. Oh, Will Barry with our hero here is kind of cool. I could go snow stick, snow stick, bamboozle, and then zombie tanks the winter worm for me. Sure, I don't hate that. 
chomp. This seems alright. He's gonna die anyway. And then we can get Gargantoir out there. He's so big. That doesn't seem right. I think there's something wrong with the tooltip. I have to say. I don't think I'm supposed to get this guy right now. Because it says when 8 HP lost. Maybe it's when 4 HP lost? Or is it when 8 HP is lost among the whole team? Because this character lost 4. Oh, that might be it too. Which is a lot crazier, I have to say. And maybe just, it might just be a, a strangeness because of Bamboozle. Like, because he hit multiple targets, it might have tracked strangely. I don't know, just throwing out ideas. Chomp, chomp. Let little Barry tank this. And I think I can just freeze Snoo. Looks fine. And now look at little berry pop off. Ready? Boom. Boom. 8 HP. What a G. Or 8 damage, rather. 8 HP and 8 damage. Even. What a guy. I'm about to get fucking bopped. I am not feeling great here. That's a lot of damage. I guess it's not actually that big of a deal. 8 into Imp, 1 into Gargantoir, 2, 1, 2 into Lil Berry is 5. I can do the math, I know. I know things. I can count up. This Gargantoir is never attacking. My man is in jail forever. Whatever he did, they're not letting him out for it. He might actually just be too big. Like He, he covers up Lil Berry's attack timer. Man needs to only be on the top row or some shit. That'd be an interesting mechanic. Lock units to a specific row. I actually don't think it would be that interesting. I'm thinking about it now. That sounds kind of boring. What's left? There's one enemy left. It's probably a snowbo. Could be anything, I think. It's reasonable to assume it would be a snowbow. I think I should press this bell. Yeah, it's a baby snowbow. So now I get a quad kill here, which is cool. Is it a is it a quad kill? One, two, three. It could be a five X. Four, 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 fourteen. Scrappy sword. Sure, why not? What's wrong with this? Yeah, he didn't summon another imp at minus 4 HP. So I'm guessing that was just... I think that was a weirdness with Bamboozle hitting multiple targets. It counted my hero losing HP as well. Ooh. Before attacking, jump over ally ahead to gain one attack. Interesting. Did the Nova line in this run? It's just every run, the Nova line is crazy. It's not fair to keep going, whoa, the Nova line, she's always good. That's the problem. You can always see Nova in the lines. Bungie zombie. Prepare to steal away a random enemy after their attack. What do you mean steal away a random enemy? Sorry? Can I get a judge? Can I get a ruling on that, please? Steal away a random enemy? Is I, No way he just kills one enemy, right? That would be ridiculous. But I don't know how else you interpret that, so... I don't know. Let me need plus one on hero here, it matters. All things considered. Now we can go Pootie Crown, Gargantoir Crown. Did you see that? What the heck? Someone, someone go in frame by frame, take a screenshot of whatever the hell he looks like when I put that crown on him and send it to me. I gotta know. Now we can crown a Scrappy Sword for Pootie. <laughs> Watch this Gargantor do a pogo move. 
<laughs> that doesn't seem right. Let me put this on my hero. All right. So we're going to play Gargantuar, Pudi, Crafty Sword for the Guarantee, and then Hero. What's the zombie still doing here? This guy's kind of a curse. He doesn't get injured though, which is interesting. If he comes in from the reserve, picked up on that. That's kind of cool. Grrr. That's my impression of the zombies. When they're making their zombie noises, they go grrr. Don't worry, Gargantuar, we'll get you an attack in today. Actually fucking pogo sticked on. Embarrassing, isn't it? Okay, prepare to steal a random enemy after their attack. Oh, after I think it's after the bungee zombies attack is when it prepares to steal away a random enemy. I was reading that as after an enemy enemy attacks it steals something. I understand now. I remember simple minded, he can only hit in his row. Oh, it's the flattening thing that Plants vs. Zombies does. That's pretty good. I should probably save the snow cake for... Boss Man, but also... You know. Whatever. I'll just throw some stuff around. This looks all right. I'm about to pogo stick forward. Get ready to get jumped. Send it. Oh yeah. The animations in this are pretty sweet, I gotta say. Brains. Brains. A true Halloween horror. So what? how does this work? Let's find out. What's he about to do? Oh. How long does it take, I wonder? I guess we'll see. Let's try not to die in the meantime, yeah? It would be unfortunate. I'm guessing it's like after Jab Jode attacks, he's gonna get robbed or taken away. This is the idea. Maybe it's before he attacks? Let's see. Oh, interesting. Oh, there he is! Oh, bye, Jab Joke. Okay, that's that's kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? My hero's jumping forward, bungee zombies coming in from the sky. No way he can do that to bosses, right? That would be absurd. Uh, I have an idea. Let's do a little testing here. I need to sunrod the goblin so it escapes. Oh my god, he can just steal bosses. That can't be right. That just can't be right. So what, I just send this damage in and then he dies? No way. Wow. Get fucking rolled, Muttonhead. This unit is kind of ridiculous. I wonder if you can give him Frenzy with Pootie. Probably not, but we can try. Brain. Store 5 HP to a zombie and count down the timer by 2. Sure. We found it. The brain. I, there's no way the charm merchant's better than two random charms is here. I am good to go. Yeah, plus 8 shell, sure. Good for the hero. And... 
pomegranate charm. Oh, insane for a gargantuar. Biggy Chungus is about to go crazy. And we go... Probably plus eight on our hero is safe. Um, oh, Simple Minded gets overwritten by Barrage. Interesting. The pomegranate has made my gargantuar smarter. Quite. Alright, well, I'm just gonna leave it for now, I think. The bungee zombie is a nice benefit. I don't think he's something that I want to be. I do kind of want to see if I can blaze to him, though. I can blaze to him. Alright, let's see what happens. First, I gotta choose who's getting silenced. It's definitely my hero. And. I could send the zombie to die. It's like his whole point is that he's a chump blocker, I think. He doesn't get injured when he dies, I don't believe. Alright, Bungie Zombie. Let's see if it works. Oh my god, it does work. Yeehaw. What the fuck? That's crazy. No way that's real. He does have to wait for them all to die, but I think I can just, like, <laughs> win the game. Right? Let me count down. I'll hit the eight in the Kraken. This seems so ridiculous. <laughs> that also seems very ridiculous. This mod is sick. I wasn't sure. I, I was a little bit... Uh, I was a little worried when I didn't see anything exciting at the start of this run, but oh my god. We're balling. I'm so in. Three damage to all doesn't really bother me here. So I'm gonna heal two of it back. No, I'm not. I'm silenced. What am I saying? I think we put the otaku away. And then we just redraw. I'm gonna aim for the bun- I mean, I'm just gonna hope the bungee zombie kills the Lumiko here to make my life easier, but I wonder if I can dodge the Octobomb. I wonder if that's real. They do get to take their attack. And that's kind of tough. But 4 and 4 is livable for me, and then I heal a little bit. Probably like this. Just to be safe. Yeeha. Oh, he got inked. Doesn't matter. He's back from the war. Inked and frozen, but he handled that shit. He took care of business for us. You gotta respect the hustle. Yeeha, bungee zombie. Yeeha. I think I'm gonna go flatten these clowns. Give me one more hit on the goblin. Actually, I should redraw and then get one more hit on the goblin after. Yee. I was very sure this was not gonna work with Frenzy. I did not believe. And I apologize for my lack of faith. Chomp, chomp. I don't know why I would think it wouldn't work. Like, why wouldn't it work? It makes perfect sense that it works. And yet. Yeehaw. That's all there really is to say about it, right? Yeehaw. It's like playing with Soulbound Skulls almost. I can definitely just pivot the whole run around, whole, whole run around this guy, I feel. It's very strong to just say target enemy dies. Pretty weak to being silenced, though. Flattened. He flipped! Holy! Now that can't be right. Imagine getting flipped on by that guy. He's like the size of a house, and you're getting flipped on? 
That's brutal. Oh my god, Spark Charm on the boy? Whoa. I'm listening. I'm thinking. What does that mean? Uh, I think it means something quite dire for the enemies. Worn by zombies, start with four shall gain swarm one. Oh, can I actually transform my regular zombie into a conehead zombie? Hold on, I gotta see. Does it work? Oh, this is incredible. Look at him. What a life. Alright, we go plus three, plus one on hero. I need to find... Unfortunately, I'm trapped with a cursed crown on Pootie that I don't really want now. But that's okay. Because we can do this. And then spark charm bungee zombie. Watch this shit. Prepare to steal away a random enemy after their attack. Yeah. If this works on truffle, it's actually so unbelievable. If, if this actually kills how I think it might. He's two space, so surely not, right? But also, anything goes. It's a mod. Bungie Zombie loads up. Oh my god, Truffle's dead. What the hell? He's just... It, the fight's just over. What the... What do I do? I just win. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. I mean, I guess I call the bell, assuming this works how it seems like it will. Damn, good fight, Truffle. And your pop room gets embarrassed. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's crazy. Oh, and then you give me a critical charm? Oh, baby. Hell yeah. You can give me the new one as well. Uh, let's go look at the charm merchant, I think. Gnome charm? Surely I can't put that on this guy, right? No, but I could put it on this blaze tee here. Oh, wait, that's bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That, that, that's actually terrible. It ruins my combo, because you can't play it in hand. My mistake. Please forgive me. Or don't. So what do I want? I guess I can go, like, Gnome Charm. Pink Berry Juice is fine. New Moon Scrappy Sword and New Moon Snow Cake. Not too bad. Now, the critical is not always going to work out just right here. It is a little bit dependent on order in hand. But, you know, it's a risk I'm ready to take. These guys are now all dead. I should probably boost HP on my hero first. Or something like that. Go get him, booty. What do I want? I think I actually want to just naturally kill the burster here. Bye bye, other burster. Yeehaw. This is 4 8. The zombie's actually kind of juiced. He's doing big damage. 6 goes up to 7. And then we go boom, flip. They're simple-minded, I forgot. How could I forget about simple-mindedness? I think it is good to just give the Gargantuan this health so that he can summon an imp. And goodbye, crab. What? No way! It chains off of itself? Oh, that's so broken. Because it's counting him as entering the battlefield when he lands. Oh, that can't be right. Oh, that cannot be right. 
How, how absurd is that? So after this burster dies, he comes back. Maybe I brain my Gargantoir here. My zombie should have killed this crab. But we call in the bell. Here he comes, he's coming back. Numbskull, your days are numbered. Oh yeah. Absolutely finished. Uh, this fight's over. I can just take two turns and then leave. Yeehaw. <laughs> he sounds so goofy, too. Yeehaw. And we just give that burster a little flattening for fun. He's trying to go again. Take it easy, bungee zombie, they're already dead. We can go top pass here. And we can get rid of... I don't even know what. Flame water, I guess? And maybe like... I don't know. All these cards are good. I'll leave it. Sometimes you don't have to optimize. Maybe a charm. Maybe a nutshell cake. Cake charm. Interesting. It's a shame it already has consume, huh? Where do I want this crown? Probably on pink berry juice. I could just go aimless or cake charm as well. I don't think it's all that good. Wait one sec, I'll take some screenshots for the thumbnail and then we can go back to yeehaw. And... All right, ready? I'm not ready. I'm ready. Let's get it. There's a chance that because of how this has worked in the past, if I target the Frost Guardian here, like if the Blaze T ends up, or if the Bungie Zombie ends up on the Frost Guardian, this fight might just end. Because in the past, when I did a kill effect on this guy, he just died. Like, he didn't phase change. So it's entirely possible that that happens again here. Which would be very funny. I'm ready to see it happen. Yeah, Pooty, go for it. <laughs> uh, spike wall? Gone. Yeehaw. Now let's watch my hero do a little double jump. No, oh, okay, it does actually uh, change phases. Okay. Well, then I should probably get this Gargantoir out so that he can flatten some things for me. No, my... the cone! Get his ass! And Frost Guardian's dead. Alright, well, GG. Close fight. Should have won the 50 50, though, loser. Hold this shit for me. 500 health? Nope. Dead. Not 500 health, actually. Hey, why are you running away? Hey, wait, come back. This unit, I think, is not, like, actually by default super broken. I think it's fairly well balanced, actually because of the timer that it would take normally, the spark is just unfair. It's just not right. Maybe I'll hit this critical. Do you think I get one critical today? Not today. I wonder if there's a method to the order you draw these cards in. Okay, well, the two most threatening enemies are already killed. The Lancer will take a while to die, though. That is one thought. If I freeze the Jailer. But we're gonna end up waiting a long time, then. I send 
Jar Jantuar up. Russia? Nope. Yeehaw. Junker? Also nope. Yeah, just gotta wait out the Lancer. It is gonna take a minute. Corp. Probably don't wanna ever hear you make that noise again, if possible. Oh fuck, how does the unmovable work with jump? This might be very bad in the future. Okay, that seems not good. I don't know if I like the jump in this fight. Actually. Maybe a little threatening. Time to flatten these guys, though. And... I guess I do have to kill the Jailer still. Hmm. First of all, Bomber, get out of here. Yeah, please speed up to your turn so I can just grab you. I think I have to kill the Jailer by hand because I snow caked him. Which doesn't take that long for my hero. It is 12 damage on a 4 timer, or 14 damage on a 4 timer even. So this is my hand. Hmm. Quite. Well. Guess we can go up to Swarm 6. It's actually a lot of damage. That's 7 damage from the zombie. How about that? Kill him. Get him, killer. Foolish. Yeehaw. It's a shame, because what I wanted to see here was the full six mark, what I was hoping to get to. But, alas, it wasn't quite to be, I fear. I wonder how it determines if he should get flattened. Because sometimes, some of the enemies did not get flattened. Some of them did. Well. That bungee zombie unit seems pretty good. That's my hot take for you. The spark charm on it is definitely not working as it should. That should not trigger every time he lands, but also it's really funny that it does. So, you know, I'm not complaining. And thanks for watching. I'll do another one of these tomorrow and then probably get back to some Poke Frost. I'll see what I feel like doing, actually. I have no guarantees. Rain World's fun. This is fun. Poke Frost is fun. The game is fun. Wild Frost is good many other mods out there. For now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.